Okay, so we're on the last cylinder here. It's a cylinder number four, uh, 2AZ FE 2.4 liter Toyota. And uh, we're using the valve master, which is right here. And uh, this is the removal end. So far, it's done a very good job. Um, there are some issues that I spoke about in earlier parts here about the fact that Cal is in the way on the intake side, which is going to make you only have to uh, only allow you to use half the tool. So in this case, we're on the exhaust side, so we can use a full tool. The key here is to keep the tool completely square over the top, and then you want to slow slowly push down. A lot of times, depending on your mileage, this is really going to be stuck. That valve ain't going to want to move. So slowly, I'm going to lift it out. Take it to the side. And I tell you, it's better to take the whole thing all together so you don't drop a keeper. I've seen people do it and just take it out. But I'm telling you, the last thing you want to do is go hunting for keepers. And doing it this way, I haven't had to do knock on wood once, have to do that. So anyways, clean the valves off. Inspect the keepers, make sure they're decent shape. You know, if you can replace them, replace them in this case. It's just not going to happen. Uh, valve seat, just want to make sure it's clean. Okay, so that's that. You want to make sure the con the convex side, the higher end, goes to the top. So I like to pre assemble these. Having little tools like an awe will definitely make this easier. So you just drop your pieces in, guide them into place. And you can go to the next step. Hold on. As you can see, sometimes you gotta fight with them a little bit to get them to do what you want them to do. Come on. There. Okay, so it's assembled. We'll leave this. Move to the next step. The first thing we're gonna do is look down, take a look at the valve stem, make sure there's nothing out of the ordinary, which there's not, looks pretty good. Gonna take our valve stem remover, reach down, be very careful. Um, squeeze tight in a little rocking pattern, usually it'll do it. And it'll pull straight out. Just be very careful. I mean, this is not, like I said, for novice. This can go really badly, really fast. So, this one is really bad condition. The inside's pretty much destroyed. So, glad to get that one out. We'll move to our brand new one. Um, I've seen people just put, like, coat of oil on them. You know what? Better just soak them in oil. That way, you know that it's fully penetrated. It, it's going to slide onto the valve easier. Also, you have to deal with the air compressor turning on every few minutes. So, when you get that on, you want to start this by hand. Very slowly, just kind of turn it because it's tight and slide it on. You want to make sure it's, the seating starts with your fingers. Now, we're going to take the power master. We're going to use the pool tool because we're on the exhaust side. And we're going to put it over the top, make sure it goes over the top of the, the valve. Because believe me, you don't want to butt that valve. And just tap it until you hear it start to hit sound solid. So, you hear that sound? That means it's done. So, it's seated. You want to look inside, verify it's seated properly, which you did. Wipe off any gunk or whatever it got in, got in there. As possible. All right, so that's done. Now we're going ahead and uh, put the new the old uh, back in, keeping all parts together. A um, little trick on the back side, since it's tilted down slightly, you see how it's going uh, front to back. Don't do it side to side on the back one. If you do, the, the keepers won't seat properly. They'll keep falling in sideways. Keeping them like this will not allow one to go under the other. So now what we're going to do is just drop it over the top. Make sure that it's seated properly in the in the groove. Take the belt, pass the tool, turn it around. You gotta do this slowly. Okay, you're gonna get it right over the top and very slowly give it pressure. Make sure you have safety glasses on, because obviously. You know that didn't. That was kind of weird. Usually it has a nice little click. 
I thought he just kind of slid into place. So, always compared to your other valve that's not done for height uh, comparison to make sure that you're seated properly. I always tell people, you know, honestly, if you feel like you didn't go right, just use the remover, take it back out again, and start over. This one looks good. And that's it. That one's done. Now, the big key here is to take your time. Um, and it, it, that will save you a lot. You know, they're saying do it quick, boom, boom, uh, with the head on. You don't want to do that. I mean, you do that and you butt that valve, it's going to go right down in that cylinder no matter what you do. And I did experience that earlier, so it can happen. Um, I was lucky enough the valve stem was already on, so it, it stopped the valve before it dropped in. So uh, that's that. We're almost done doing the valve stem seals, and then we'll move on to reinstalling camshafts and uh, regulating the timing chain, which it's uh, we'll get into that later.